Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Janelle aka Nelly. Hope you guys are doing well. So as you can tell by today's title of the video, it's kind of spur of the moment. Um, I want to compare the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this? Their Press Powder together because I heard a lot of good things for each one. And so I put on this foundation on purpose. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Con foundation because it does pretty well in general but I like slight differences between each powder and I wanted to use them specifically on this foundation to see what is the main difference because usually when I do these videos I pay more attention to my makeup so I could be more detailed so yeah um <laughs> so if you guys watch Alyssa Ashley because I mainly got this from Alyssa's Ashley recommendation Alyssa Ashley she loved the Sephora micro smooth baked powder um this is what it looks like for like all over the face because it like really gives you a nice blurring effect and like it's like a filter on your skin and it feels like nothing which is very true it does like I did it for my mom's friend's daughter in prom makeup because it just looks so good um and then same thing with the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury whenever I think of Charlotte Tilbury I think middle-aged so rude but middle-aged upper age white woman um they've been they've been doing better with their shade ranges lately so yeah so her, i heard Alyssa actually talk about this powder i got the mini my mom got me the mini for valentine's day because that's what i asked um to see about like this is their darkest shade see this this is like the first thing i've noticed between both of them except for sephora this is their darkest shade which i don't really like and then this is their darkest shade which I'm like, cool, this is a good shade, but they could still go like one or two more shades darker because there are people darker than me. So I heard people from Alyssa Ashley in like an older video talk about the Charlotte Tilbury powder and also heard Tammy um, talk about it in one of her videos too. So I'm like, you know, let's do a comparison video so I can see the difference between them. So I did, I'm like halfway done with my makeup. Obviously, I just set it on my under eyes with my regular powder. So I'm gonna set each side with the powders and see what they do differently. So I'm just going to read the descriptions of both the Micro Smooth Powder and the Charlotte Tilbury Powder so you guys can know the difference between the two. So for the Sephora Powder, it's good for all skin types. It's a light coverage. It's a natural finish. Um, it has green tea extract and minerals, which gives the appearance of healthy looking skin, which is true. Free parabens and fragrance and it's not used on animals. It says, formulated with mineral water and shaped by hand, this formula is slowly baked to achieve a unique airy texture that perfectly melts into the skin. The fine powder forms a perfect match to your complexion with a lightweight, breathable feel. The formula is not tested on animals. And that's it. It doesn't really talk about, like, finish or anything. And this is, like, this is the darkest shade. It's supposed to be a powder foundation, supposedly. <laughs> um, the fact that it's supposed to be a powder foundation... And this is the darkest shade that I found in my store. Like, hmm, okay. So this, for the Charlotte Tilbury, it is an ultra fine setting powder that blurs imperfections and visibly reduces shine. It's a medium coverage, natural finish, good for all skin types. Um, highlighted ingredients is rose wax, almond oil to help nourish, soften, and moisturize the skin, and light reflecting pearls that diffuse light as it hits your face to illuminate the complexion real sulfates all that stuff it's a breathable micro fine powder technology gives you an immaculate immaculate complexion that acts like a luxe micro fine cashmere veil on top of your skin for a bright perfecting finish this product does not cake or sit in lines rose wax and almond oil hydrate the skin throughout the day and enable the power the powder <laughs> and enable the powder to blend on flawlessly while reducing shine, nourishing, da, 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 da. it's a good, it's perfect if you suffer from an oily toy. <laughs> it says it's perfect if you suffer from an oily T-zone or complexion, if you want a flawless retouch finish to your makeup. So this one, Charlotte Tilbury is obviously, my eyes shine to water now, I don't got time for that. Charlotte Tilbury is obviously a pressed powder, like a pressed finishing powder. And the Sephora is like a big, powder foundation that's supposed to give you light coverage but a lot of people use it mainly for setting their foundation so we're just going to do that real quick i just cleaned this brush because i use this morphe brush that i got in like a set looks like this nice and fluffy um i use this specifically for the sephora powder i just washed her she's clean so 
around time, so this is what I do. I do like go in a little bit. I just buff it in. And we're only gonna do this on the left side. The difference of a clean brush. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like it set as your face, but it does enough. Like a little bit goes a long way. And I just go all over the same places that I usually do with my, even my loose powder foundations. Just to really set it in. This is what the left side of my face looked like. Set foundation and everything. So now we're going to do the right side uh, with the Charlotte Tilbury. I like to use this brush because I got the mini for 25 If they ever got a mini, you guys, always buy the mini. Because if you like the big side, you big size. You can exchange it for the big size and just pay the difference. Or like if you're or if you're like me, you get tired of things quickly. You just love mini. So I just grab some, and this one's said to flick it in an upwards motion. So I usually just do this, honestly. <laughs> Same exact technique. So what I've noticed personally between the two powders is that. The Sephora powder doesn't really add color to my skin, but the Charlotte Tilbury powder to me is really the perfect setting powder tone because it does add a little bit more color to your skin, but not too obvious. So like these edges are more blended out from my highlighting concealer and all that stuff. So this is what the right side of my face look like. Up close, I like to use natural sunlight as you guys know in my videos. I like the way the Charlotte Tilbury looks like over here because it looks more smooth. Like, this looks smooth, but this one looks smoother to me personally. So, I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so okay, Disney Plus. Um, so don't know if I mentioned this beforehand, but I try to do my own nails. And they're very long, and my stupid behind thought I could cut them and trim them and shape them after I put on the poly gel. I don't know why my brain told me that, but like when I finished this hand, it was too late. So I was like, I might as well commit. So uh, putting on lashes was a pain in the behind because I could never put on lashes with tweezers. I can only put them on my fingers. So this was a process. Um, but this is the final look I set in my face. It's like four o'clock now, four forty-one. But like I was doing my lashes for like. 10 minutes so either way i gotta wear this till like around midnight to see um how it looks throughout the day so this is the left side of my face with the sephora micro smooth and this is the right side of my face with the charlotte tilbury all that good jazz oh yeah also so yeah i'll be back in a few hours also i was re-watching bailey sarian's um did he do it videos like one of her recent videos within the past few weeks and it sounds a lot like gone girl and so now I'm looking up um, Jillian, the author of Gone Girl and the scriptwriter of Gone Girl. And it was, it's actually based on her case. So it's going in my, in my mind. Because when I first watched the video, I'm going to be like, it sounds a lot like Gone Girl. And I rewatched Gone Girl again because it's one of my favorite movies. And so it was like a little interesting fact that, yes, yeah, she wanted to show about marriages and how we kind of like in relationships, how we try to put our best face and everything. But <laughs> it was also based on the case of Lisa I think it was interesting to me so <laughs> yeah I will be back in like a few hours and we'll be we'll see the difference hi guys so it is now let me just read that it is now 10 52 p.m I was gonna do this to like at least 11 30 but my mom keeps on talking to me about how okay so fun fact I'm a natural born night owl like when I was in my mom's womb I was up. I was always doing something only at nighttime. So I was I'm a born night owl. Um, my dog has been sleeping with me lately because like she's 10 months old now. So she should be able to sleep with me. Um and she's been doing good. Um she's actually just better sleeping with me. Um, but she is of course a 10 month old puppy and she likes to go to bed at a certain time, but she also got separation anxiety. So whenever I move, she tries to follow me and I'm over like, girl, go to sleep. You need to learn to like go to sleep without me being around by my mom, but whatever. Um, 
whole thing. So like it's like almost 11 o'clock. She's knocked down my mom's belly downstairs and that probably was enough. So, and I have an appointment in the morning, in the morning. So <laughs> let's just, just get it out the way. Let me see. Let me turn the flash for a second. Flash. Um, my eyes were watering today, so my under eyes are gonna be a little bit dark. But, so this is what the left side of my face looks like, the Sephora, Sephora side. Actually, the flash on, I see a difference. And then this is the right side of my face with the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Distance, we're ignoring the under eyes, okay? This is like a low-key emotional day. Um, let's go all up in here. And then, <laughs> and then here's the right side of my makeup. So left, right. And now I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna look at myself a lot more in person. So, okay. Top flash, cause I don't need any more. So for this video, I thought the Charlotte Tilbury did not go well with this particular foundation because it looked more oilier to me. Let me see. Mm -hmm. It looked more oilier to me with the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. And then with the Sephora Micro Smooth, it looks a little bit better. I am a little bit indifferent. Like I still see a little bit more dewiness on this side of my face, not as much on this side. Like this is the areas where I highlighted. So I'm looking around like my forehead, natural dew and as you can see i put some over here too just to like imply my my fine lines are doing super duper good i think honestly i think i like the charlotte tilbury side a little bit more and i think it's because of the shade i generally think that's like the main reason why because charlotte tilbury expanded their shade range and i got the darkest shade of the sephora powder both of them to me don't add a lot of color but there's always small differences that you see with your makeup routine that you notice because you're looking at yourself all the time, but other people might not notice. But the main difference I could tell by feeling each powder is that I feel this powder, the, the Sephora one, like actually some sometimes, depending on the foundation, actually mattifying my face a little bit. Like I would, after setting my face with a full face with this powder, I will have to set it with some like setting spray, like my Fenty setting spray. I feel a little bit more breathable and like not like powder all over my face. I haven't really have to do that with the Charlotte Tilbury because I've been using both of these for weeks now. Um, this is just a video for you guys. Which one would I recommend for you guys to buy? I would have to say, um, one, if Sephora came out with like two more shades, two more deeper shades from this powder because yeah, I can work with this powder because it doesn't add like a lot of coverage, but there's people darker than me. Like, come on now. I kind of see some brands kind of be like, I'm the darkest shade or they go like one or two shades below me. But like there's people in between me and those two shades below me, like there's different undertones. So stop that. Like this is the darkest shade. And I just wish it was actually like a nice rich shade where it is actually deep because the shade for this is deep and <laughs> i saw on their website they had a thing called deep ebony and i saw deep ebony in person it looks exactly the same so they probably just changed their names or whatever but that's not deep ebony like the charlotte tilbury number four deep is actually deep because i'm a deep skin tone to me um this is deep this is what i would like to see for a face powder. So if Sephora made this powder into this actual shade, I would tell you guys to get this if you're like beauty on a budget. If you're beauty on a budget and you, like you still get what it's worth. It's good $20, it doesn't cost that much. It's recyclable um, packaging. It's a good product in all. <laughs> um, I do enjoy it. I feel like it's gonna last me a long time, especially since I've been using this consistently for a good minute too. It's just that lately, I just like the shade matching a little bit better. Like they're both equally good to me. There's just small little differences that I will probably look for, that I will look into depending on the day. Like with, um, I want, <laughs> did I try this with my Cover Facts Foundation? Like I wanna try this with my, 
because I don't think I tried it yet with this foundation. I don't know yet. With my Cover Effects Power Play foundation. I think I did. Actually, I think these two look really beautiful with each other. Um, I'm going to play it again probably tomorrow. It's a lot more lightweight. I never had to like, like I said before, it didn't feel drying. And this one does sometimes, depending on the formula of the foundation, it does feel drying. So I would say for more universal, universally, get the Charlotte Tilbury powder, but get the mini like my mom got me. I told her to get me the mini, which is like 25 bucks. It's five bucks more than this product. And this only comes with 0.11 ounces. This is a little bit less than the full size, but honestly, 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 a little bit of this goes a long way. I'm probably gonna last, this is probably gonna last me a good minute. Um, pressed powders for some reason with me don't, like my old pressed powder, the MAC one, I never finished it. It broke on me and I couldn't fix it. So I just went on to loose powder or a micro smooth. Like you get 20 bucks, at, you pay 20 bucks and you get 0.24 ounces of product so it really depends on your budget i think honestly they're both good they're just good for different things i think the charlotte tilbury would be really good for like 4k ultra hd videos this will be good for photo shoots too but i think i'd do like a, just like a one more extra spritz of setting spray that depends on the person so i'm happy i did this video let's see if i post it if you guys want me to do like a, a comparison test of each of each one sure i could kind of see if people say this is like the dupe for the charlotte tilbury powder um because it kind of is honestly it, it, they're really similar they're just small things that i think each person themselves will notice makes a difference towards their makeup so yeah me is in the description box down below um i recommend tiktok i recommend following me on tiktok and twitter because i'm really active on those two apps um like I'm active on Instagram, but like mainly <laughs> TikTok and Twitter. I'm I've been posting more on TikTok, just random thoughts. Like if you want to know random thoughts, TikTok and Twitter. Instagram, I'm kind of just there. Like <laughs> that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.